a good day and welcome back to another video and today I'm just going to be kind of doing a little different video it is still linked in with Minecraft but uh, anyway it's actually a tutorial so uh, basically I'm going to be teaching you to do something as a one-off so basically I was just researching this a little earlier and uh, I realized there was no tutorials I was like what so I was thinking you know what I'll make the first tutorial so um, here we are I'm <laughs> making a tutorial so uh, Basically what it is, is how to use Bycraft um, as a bungee card server. So, um, you know, there's normal Bycraft tutorials, a lot of them actually, but not for bungee card, because bungee card is pretty confusing when it comes to uh, Bycraft, kind of. But anyway, uh, let, let, let's hop right into it. So, uh, the first thing I want to say is, um, the first thing you need to do is, of course, get the um, Bycraft plugin. Now I'll leave a link to the download in the description. And um, this does work with Spigot. I know it's a bucket page, but it works with Spigot, trust me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download the latest build, like that. And um, we're gonna go to our, you know, our uh, plugins folder. So this is my MC for hosting across server. So how it works is you do need the Bycraft plugin on each individual server that you have. Kind of an annoying thing, but anyway. So in plugins, we're just going to uh, get this my downloads. So we're just going to drag that over to there, and then we're going to stick it in there, and then just download it. There we go. Just minimize that. Now after doing this, you will need to restart the server. Cool. So let's just restart that. So um, while we're waiting to restart it, uh, we're going to get on with the next bit. So what you need to do is here we are on Bycraft now. I'm not going to show you one of the pages because it does have some stuff I don't want you guys to see because uh, it's uh, secret keys and stuff. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so what you would do is you would click on web store, then underneath that you'll go to servers and it'll bring up a page with all your servers. And about here on the page you'll click add server and it'll bring up this. So I want to call, this is my hub server, so my main hub, so I'm going to call it, well, hub. And um, what you can do, which I love so much, is you can add packages per server. So some servers may not work, like some packages may not work in other servers. So let's say you want money for factions, right? I'm just like, all right, I want to buy some money on factions. What's the point of buying that in the hub server? That's just confusing. So you can add a package per server, which is really sick. So we're going to add, um, I'm just going to add all my ranks and rank upgrades. And um, then you will click add server. Alright guys, so I am back and uh, back into my FTP file access on the hub server, the, the main hub. So what we need to do is, this is, um, this is kind of where it gets pretty weird. So what you need to do is you would have copied the secret key from when you created the server on the Bycraft. Now I have it copied right now, so we're going to go to plugins. And it will have generated this Bycraft kind of, um, folder thing. So we're going to here, and then we're going to go to settings.com. Now, in here, we have quite a lot of stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we will put our secret key there. So you will just paste it there, and boom. But this is the big thing you guys need to see. Is when you come. Now you would set that to true. This is the thing that everyone needs to set. True. So, you would highlight that, get rid of that, and type true. And then you would put your secret key there. Alright guys, so I am back, and all you need to simply do now is hop on the server that you did just set it up for. Make sure you have actually restarted the server. Now, you may think that's kind of stupid, but I don't know why it works like that. Restart the server, trust me. You need to restart that server. Alright, so after you've done that, all you simply do is say buy um, craft space reload. And it'll say it's reloaded. Do slash buy. And there you go. If you get an error, reload, uh, restart the server. Because you probably haven't restarted the server. But anyway, guys, I do hope this was helpful. Um, I know it was kind of hard to explain, it's actually a hard thing to explain, uh, trust me guys, but anyway guys, I hope this helped you guys, 
um, you know just a one off tutorial if you don't want me to get back into tutorials and now I'm a lot better at like coding and stuff um, feel free to ask but anyway guys thank you for watching please like subscribe all the comments this has been Hanukkah and hopefully I'll see all you guys in the next video bye guys